Today I'm at an Expel and we're doing some installation of their paint protection film, talk about ceramic coating, talk about their entire business. Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. We're gonna talk about trucks and SUVs, about putting some coatings on, like some armor coating or their stealth coating or their regular Expel coating to really keep that road debris off. So we'll keep talking about road debris, we'll talk about paint protection film, we'll talk about ceramic coating, we'll talk about my attempt to put this on the Tesla and the hoods here, you can see with the Ford Super Duty over here. And we'll talk about why it's white or black. They do different colors because it shows different things when you're putting the paint protection film on. Trust me, I learned that one the hard way. Uh, black shows a lot, white doesn't show as much. You don't think you'd be on that. But we'll talk more about Expel. We'll talk about their head, what they're doing here. We'll talk about what they're expanding in the Marines. They have some stuff as far as the windows, Marine boats and things like that. And we'll get to more of that in this video. Okay, the day began talking with company executives, listening to what their plans were the future and how much they've grown in the last couple of years. This is the company CEO discussing how much growth they've seen, how globally they're expanding and what they're doing in the future for future plans. We also had a conversation where we walked around the lab and looked at the logistics as far as how they ship out materials, how they cut the, the templates or the, the PPF for different kits, what they do when they ship out those kits, how they have UPS FedEx at the door, and how they're really a massive shipping warehouse there. Then we put on lab coats. They do have a separate lab where they talk about how they can, their one of the materials actually repairs itself. The PPF will repair itself. So we scratched it, used a heat gun, and it magically took the scratches away. Then we talked about the gravinator. This thing shoots gravel at the PPF protection film, and we can see the differences between how the gravel nicked up the uncoated material and what it did for the coated material. Then we get a chance to put on the PPF stuff. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> but there was a, we had a lot of conversation about how to do it. You had to clean it a couple different times and you had to put it, spray it and then you put it on and you had to move it around to work it. And that definitely is a learned skill. And I, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just say I wasn't so good at that. I want to go back to the gravinator test. I'm going to show you the one I'm grabbing right now is just a piece of body that's got paint on it. And you can see all the dings that the rock chips put into that piece of body. And that's one of the things that PPF, that's why people do it, why they buy it. Yes, it is an expensive application, but you can protect your vehicle and you get re better resale value when you trade it in because now your paint looks like this. Look how good this panel looks. And that panel was shot with the same speed of the Gravenator, like 60, 70 miles an hour, shooting gravel at the body. And you can see those differences between PPF and non-PPF, and that's one of the big deals going on with Expel and their products. Okay, let's talk about one of my key questions was, what's the difference between PPF coverage and ceramic coating? It seems like it's the same thing to me, but it's not. So PPF, when you put that film on top of here, it keeps scratches, and like as we saw with some video here with the Gravenator, it keeps those rock chips from really getting through into the paint. That's what PPF does. Now ceramic coating is different. Ceramic coating makes a smooth cover on top of this PPF. You can do it on top of that as well. PPF, then ceramic coating. Ceramic coating keeps dirt and any sort of like, I don't know, mud and things from accumulating on top of your paint. It slides off a lot better. And it's a much smoother surface and it really brings that paint out. In both cases, in PPF and also with the ceramic coating even more, you have to do paint correction to make sure that surface is perfect to get that on there and so it looks the best. Okay, let's talk about this Tesla Fender. You'll see here in a minute, we have one of the installers who's installing this. It's a process of adding some solution to get it to stick, and then it sets, and then he works it out, as you'll see, with the, the squeegee. And the idea here is that this paint protection film has a 10-year warranty and keeps like road debris and stuff off of your vehicle. And it keeps like any dents or dinks and scratches, like light scratches, like say you're going on a trail or something, it keeps those scratches off. And then, you can do a ceramic coating on top of that that actually protects the paint and makes it really slick. And that ceramic coating also keeps the dirt from accumulating. They also offer a product for window treatment and this will keep the cabin cooler and, protect, and keep the sun rays out. So what he's doing here is he's just kind of getting the piece aligned, the kit, and he's gonna shrink it to make sure it fits perfectly. And he's using a heat gun here. What's interesting with a heat gun is they're using it on the outside because it's really hot. They don't wanna damage any materials inside but also that the heat gun is also used in the PPF department as well, putting that on. If you make a mistake with a PPF, you actually have to use the heat gun to get the material off. That's how sticky this thing is. 
and you'll see there's lots of cleaning involved and so that's kind of a demo on the outside so he'll get clean up and he's going to clean the inside all the tracks he's going to clean up and down inside he'll, he'll wipe it all down and then he'll get the material that was ready to go he's already pre-done and he'll slide it into place and there's a solution on there that what they're trying to do is just keep it wet and it's going to keep so you can move it around and then he keeps spraying and spraying and cleaning and spraying again like a uh, paint prep like i said earlier it's this takes you longer to prep than it does to paint often and so he gets it all ready to go solutions ready to go he puts on his piece he starts working on the big piece first he'll move it around he'll get it in place take his hand move it move it around make sure it doesn't slip at all and he that he's going to use more spray kind of keeps things moving around but also gets those uh, agents that are going to make it stick ready to go to adhere to it okay let's head over to expel.com and talk more about this you're seeing some images on the screen that show some luxury cars and high performance sports cars it's been kind of where they've been at they're expanding more in trucks and suvs because trucks and suvs got more expensive and people want to protect their investment they want a higher resale value they want their vehicle to look better longer period of time so you have they do automotive marine home and office commercial you have window tint you have high protection paint protection film you have a satin finish which is becoming even more popular these days we have care products to maintain the way it looks and you have home office and window film and the other coating as well some ceramic coating looking at the automotive space you can see some sports cars and things but you also can see interior wise this is what got me interested as well because these trucks are coming these massive screens and where we're heading and they have some film protection for that plus they also do some protection for the interior with that new trend of designers putting gloss black on everything you can put a coating on that stop it from scratching making it look better and then the question was you know you can do this yourself they do offer some self-install kits but i do wonder like how much it costs and, and this is the thing it's they have installers throughout the country and so i did a quick google search just an f-150 like if, and this is where it depends like a thousand to eight thousand dollars or more depending on what kit you want you can do full in full vehicle full front clip for example just the the grill or the hood the grill the bumper you can do a partial front you can do a custom options you can kind of mix and match how you want to where you want to protect your truck where you see the most dings and scratches and things from rocks or from out in the trails and keep that looking good long term okay there you go there's the details next spell and what they're doing here which is interesting stuff i mean I, I like the idea of paint protection film especially on the hood keep the rock chips off and when you go to trade it in you get much better resale value but i'm seeing a whole movement in the comments of this channel and online people are doing a lot more ceramic coating of their trucks a lot more paint protection film on this truck a lot more protection probably because trucks have gotten more expensive and it's an investment and they're making sure they keep the investment nice and clean when they go to trade it in. A little better resale value overall. What do you guys think for your comments down below? Would you do the paper protection film or ceramic coating in your truck? I'm curious to know your thoughts. I'll check out the videos up over here, website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.